shorty, let's go. No time to care for securities. Walk past security, smelling like dank. That was 12 great. Me and Blake coming in class late. Lot was on the run from the state. Collect calls from the pen. I got it in with this pen. 1017 gave me my first spin. And now I whip up audio crack for you and your friends. Go ahead, take a hit. When you rolling with your team, pray your dog strong. When you slip, nigga, tell me who you fall on, huh? Who you fall on? Yeah. What's poppin' with y'all, man? I'm Devon, and you are now tuned in to the Realist the Reaction channel on YouTube. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another Raw Reaction. And today, we're reacting to Up Church. I'm so sorry. Up Church and um, H HDC, I think the guy's name is, have been like, you know, just having a exchange of words and going back and forth. But, you know, Church is my guy. I'm subscribed to Church. So when I saw that he responded, of course, I'm going to, you know, check out Church first. So let's get straight into this. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe, hit the bell, turn on post notifications. And I need you guys to be following me on Instagram, man. I'm trying to hit 2,000 followers on Instagram. I'm trying to grow the family over there as well. So follow me and I'm going to follow you back. Raw reaction started right, right, right now. Three, two, one. Pow. The screen recorded, man. Let's go, church. Listen, I'm about to blow your mind when I say this, man. I know you're watching this video with no socks on. Your 10 toes are exposed. You have no socks on. Listen, hear me out. I don't even know why you would ask, how do I know that? Because I can't tell you, there's no fun in that. But I'm looking down, my 10 toes are exposed too, man, I'm barefoot as well. But listen, don't feel ashamed. You're in the place to be. This is the no sock game, the barefoot crew, all of the above, but, at the same time, if I caught you lacking, you got to smash that like button and you got to hit subscribe and join the gang if you haven't already. Hashtag NSG in the comments. No sock gang. <laughs> yes, man. Let's go, church. I'm so sorry. You thought I was going to say sorry about something? This video is probably gonna make some people unfollow me. If you do unfollow me, I don't want you here anyways, so don't bother writing a whole big ass novel about it. I know you want this like big beautiful exit where I pretend- Yo, bro, that's crazy. Like, um, on my journey of like doing YouTube, um, I had people like really do that. Like they'll be like, I might have paused the video too much during my reaction, which I would never understand that because that's the point of a reaction for me to watch the video and pause it and give you my thoughts and break down lyrics and interpret the art the way I interpret it. But you have people that get mad over that. Or maybe I, my opinion didn't, you know, go with their opinion and they didn't like what I said. So then they'll tell you that they're going to, they'll go in the comments and leave like a novel, a paragraph about how they disagree with you and how they're going to stop supporting and unsubscribe. And it's like, bro. Just hit the unsub just hit the subscribe button and unsubscribe, bro. It's not that you don't have to do all that. You don't have to do a dramatic exit. Just exit. Where <laughs> I give a fuck, but I'm not an actor, and I didn't hear no one say click action. So, eh. so yeah, I'm pretty much at this weird spot in my career. How do I explain this? How do I know how to explain this? If my career was a pregnant woman, like I feel like I have all these ugly babies, like hundreds of ugly babies. Trying to suck my titties. That's, that's, yeah. All the pregnant ladies just like throwing formula, like, here's some formula. And they're like, no, I want to suck your titties. Why am I telling you this? Because it's fucking fascinating and weird. It's weirdly fascinating. So, what inspired me to make this video was yesterday, a kid asked me on Instagram where you do the questionnaire thing. He was like, how do you deal with being picked on all the time? I said, well, I don't get picked on in real life, so it don't matter. So then I sat there for a good five minutes. Just thinking about what the kid asked me. And like, what was going through the kid's head? What was he expecting my answer to be? And then I was like, dude, I'm at a weird point in my career, bro. <laughs> like a weird spot, for real. Because in my life, to me, I'm regular. I drive a 79 Bonanza to the gas station. I hang out with the same friends every weekend. I text my mom every day, say, hey. And that's what I, you know, if you go to um, the reaction I posted last night, I did a reaction to Upchurch's uh, new remix to Super Gremlin. And um, Upchurch himself actually commented on that video last night. And he put the timestamp at 6 minutes and 30 seconds. Exactly what I said, um, what he's saying now. I said that I think 
you know, of course, a lot of us as Creek Squad, and, you know, fans of church, we rock with his music. We think he's a dope rapper, a dope country singer, just a dope artist overall. But I think for me personally, I can speak personally. When um I started doing Up Church Reactions, a bunch of his fans, you know, came in my comments. It was like, um, have you ever heard of Up Church? You got to react to this song and that song. And one of the things that I noticed that I really took to him over, you know, maybe the third reaction, and I'm const I'm listening to the lyrics, and even off camera, I'm, li I'm listening to his albums. And one of the things that I just resonated with was being a kid from a small town um, and just taking pride in that, you know, like, and I just think that's what makes him so dope, man. Like, you know, you see him on Instagram, he's sitting at Sonic's eating a, a, a chili dog. He's, you know, with his high school homies riding on the motorcycles. He's with his mom out to breakfast. He's with his girlfriend. You know, he just does the everyday thing that me and you do. So I think, uh, music aside, he's so, he's such a gifted dude, but it's just that he feels like a homie that would live next door that you would go smoke a blunt with. You know what I mean? Like, and that's what just makes him dope. You need me to do anything for you? And she'll say yes or no. I go to work, do my job, and I uh, pay my workers on Friday. The extra time that I have is just like everyone else. It's either for me or for my old lady. And trust me, I know a lot of people follow me because I am just regular. You know? I mean, especially in a fucking world where everything's extra as fuck. Yeah. And me being the person I am, I, <laughs> I'm saying this stuff because I'm documenting it. I want to go back and look. And like I said, that's what makes it so cool. I said this last night. You know, like he said, everything is so extra. Like, rappers are extra rich, extra tough, extra depressed, extra do drugs, extra have extra girls. Like, everything is extra. So it's refreshing to see a rapper or just a musician that's just the everyday dude, you know? It's one day. Because, I mean, in a sense, it's a social experiment that I'm actually going through. Mm. I mean, essentially, this YouTube channel is the life of somebody from a nowhere town who dropped out of high school, was a painter, and ended up being a really fucking big independent artist. Not to mention, wow. come on, bro. Look at the times we're living in. Look what the television's doing to society. Look what I look like. Look what I sound like. Look where I came from. I became a fucking hip-hop artist. What are the fucking chances? I mean, and that's something you can't go to college for. So, yeah, I'm going to document this shit because it's bizarre and interesting. Now, a lot of y'all don't uh, need to watch. That's sick. I never thought of that like that. Like, you know, um, just imagine all the videos he has and everything he's been through. This, like, YouTube is great in that sense. Like, you know, when he has his kids and he wants them to know his legacy and know what their dad, you know, how much hard work their dad put in and where their dad came from they can definitely go back and just type in his name on YouTube and just go down the rabbit hole. You know what I mean? Like, that's sick, man. That's dope. This video. But a lot of you do need to watch this video because there are some people that follow this page that are a tad bit too entitled, and you do need a reality check. So, like, last week, somebody wrote me this huge comment on how they have to unfollow me now. They're very sorry they have to, but they have to for these set of reasons. What they fail to understand is, there is no part of me that gives a shit if they stay here or not. I'm on this camera for people who are interested in what I'm doing. That's why it's called YouTube. But lately with me, people feel so entitled that it's fucking cringe, dude. It's like people are like, hey, here's a list of stuff that I don't like that you're doing. Here's the things, the stuff to say. Oh, I'm sorry. I wasn't aware that I was taking orders. Go fuck yourself. And I know a lot yeah, of creep. You know, I, it's funny because I I hear a lot of artists, you know, talk about that the fans feel entitled. And I think you know the entitlement comes from because fans, you know, especially the day one fans, they might have been with you, you know, when you were in the come up, you were, you know, what weren't as popular, what wasn't at the level you are now, and they feel responsible for you reaching the level you're at now in which they did play a part in supporting you and you know what i mean supporting the music and giving you the views and you know whatever and buying the albums but fans got to also understand that you know an artist is still a human being like you know like you can't control i'm not a robot like you know a rapper isn't a robot that you know, just has to move and do, do everything in your way and release it when you want them to release it and move this way and say these things. Don't work like that. Just because you support me, you don't have control of me. You know what I mean?
Quad feels the same way. I see the comments. You know why? Because any normal fucking level-headed person knows that this ain't normal. And to be real, the level I'm at right now is a level where a lot of motherfuckers dip out and never come back. Especially when you've been through some of the crazy, bizarre, almost non-believable shit that I've been through. To a lot of people, it wouldn't be worth it. They'd be like, fuck this. But I'm on a mission for people like me who come from places like where I come from. Mm. So it makes me happy to go through this shit and come through the other side. Because it gives people hope for whatever the fuck they're going through. If they can watch me go through it, then they know they can go through yeah. it. Not only that, all the situations I've been through on the internet for everyone to see. So if anyone ever questions it, go back and look. It's One thing my church man, I'm gonna say, whenever an issue arises and he's in that position, with you know having a, disp a, a dispute with somebody or getting into it with somebody, this man has receipts, bro. Like I don't know if you guys you know heard the story that he told. I didn't react to it, but. When he talked about how the cop, you know, was following him in his town or whatever, but he broke everything down. He knew the timestamps. He knew he had proof. He had screenshots. So just be careful, you know what I mean, get into it. This man, you can't back up what you're saying because he got the receipts. Yeah. I've had chicks date me that are musicians. They got me to write them hit songs mm. about having sex and then got on the camera and was like, damn, he tried to have sex with me. What the fuck you think we wrote the song, dummy? I've jump-started numerous careers out of money out of my pocket for somebody else. Never asked for no money back. And then they turn around and they're like, fuck him. And then when I'm like, dude, why'd you do that? Then they get back on the internet and they're like, I'm sorry. Or what's her face? It made it to where I had to cancel a fuck ton of shows. Mm. All because I refused to have sex with her, bruh. Could you imagine being in court with someone you barely know that you rejected and they're in court looking at the judge going, he has dead bodies in his yard. Him and his friends fucking kill people. He has an underground torture chamber at Ghost Ranch and starts crying. What? I heard nothing. Bro, who is he talking about? Who did that? That's crazy. I, I haven't heard anything. <laughs> I, I didn't know nothing about that. That's sick. Bro, put yourself in those shoes. You're in a courtroom with a bunch of cops, a judge, in the middle of this fucking city, and this fucking crazy person is telling everyone in the courtroom, you've murdered multiple fucking people. Telling the judge that you've built a underground facility where you torture people. And it's underground so no one can hear it. That's crazy. Or when people need vehicles and I'll give them brand new vehicles and then they ride around in the vehicle that I bought them talking shit about me. Full grown men drawing pictures of my face, trying to send it to me. And when I don't see that they're trying to send me something, they get mad and go on this tangent for a week where they're like, fuck him. Or even up to recently. Well, that's crazy. Like when you really think about everything he's saying he's been through. Uh, when you're a kid, you know, you just grow this love for music and grow this love for making, you know, expressing yourself in your through your art. Like, you don't see those type of things that come with it. Like, you like, you just want to be successful. You want to be, you know, praised for, you know, your music. You want to touch lives through your music, but you don't understand the other hand that gets dealt with that. Like, that's just, it's like fame, clout, success. Whatever, it just brings a, another type of animal out of certain humans. Like, it's disgusting, bro. It's like disgusting. It's crazy. The fucking, the, um, oh, God damn it. The fucking heavy duty guy. Dude who has 484,000 subscribers and he's online lying, saying he gave me $4,000. You didn't give me $4,000. You know you didn't. Why the fuck would you say that? And if you did, I think me and everybody else watching this video wants to see proof of you giving me that. You have to have a receipt of giving me $4,000. Whether it's cash app, check, fucking written agreement, literally anything. And look, I know it's gonna hurt some of your fans' pride or whatever, but he don't have that, y'all. 
because that did not happen. This badass, heavy-duty cowboy you guys think is a fucking cowboy has been harassing my producer, Stoner, for six months. Stoner is a very chill, very respectful, very humble. Well, that's crazy. Like, if he, like, bro, if, if you give a person money like Church is saying, I don't care how you give it to them. Money order comes with a receipt. If you zelled it to them from your bank account, you can get a bank statement. If you cash app them, you can go to your cash app, a history of all the money you sent. You can screenshot it and show it. If you, like whatever, I don't know. If you gave it to them in cash, you should have had a written agreement. Some proof that you gave this person the money. If you PayPal it, you can get a PayPal receipt. Like, and so I'm, it's just, that's a little shaky. Cause if you gave a person $4,000, it's so many, whatever way you sent it to do that exchange, you can find proof, you know what I mean, to, you can find some type of proof. So you not providing proof is already making, you know, your story sound a little shaky. Humble producer that is a family man that has three kids. You're blowing his fucking phone up over and over from different numbers. Stoner's never done bad business a day in his life. Ask any of the artists that work with him. Like Jelly, Lil White, uh, fucking Demon Jones, Tech Nine, Adam Calhoun, Dizzy Wright. I mean, the fucking list goes on. Stoner don't even like the internet shit, dude. He usually stays off of it. But it's sad as fuck that this man had to stop what he's doing to make a reply to you. So before I show you this cold hard truth that you're about to see, just remember he come out to the camera and flat out told y'all that I have 4,000 of his dollars, didn't he? He did. Here we go. I wanted to uh, bring some information coming from Stone Baby Sounds because he had made a response revolving around the heavy duty country situation and had this to say. This dude is so desperate for attention. Never signed with him. We signed a basic agreement for me to produce five songs. He paid half of the agreement and received four out of five songs and has harassed me nonstop the last six months. All because Ryan didn't want to write his songs for him. Let's leave this dude in the past. Damn. Sound familiar? Another dirty vampire baby trying to suck some titties that don't belong to him. <laughs> but here's my thing. You looked at 484,000 people that follow you all the time for the truth. And you lied directly to their face about something easily debunkable. That's like, that's like, you know, to know you're, you, you, like, you know when you're telling a lie, you know in your heart that you're telling a lie. So to, 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 to push a lie and you deep down know that you're lying, that's a person that has a couple screws loose. Like, to really push a lie and really try to make people believe you, and you know you're lying, that's crazy. If you'll lie about something small, what the fuck else will you lie about? Fast. I mean, damn, dude. Somebody who claims to be pro-American and covers news that involves our whole country, and you over here lying about giving somebody $4,000. I don't respect you anymore. Hell, I should have known something was up when you were at my house and you came there without a vehicle. I was like, well, you can borrow my Mustang. And you're like, well, I can't drive a six-speed. So I was like, okay, well, here's my automatic truck. What the fuck? <laughs> but that's the thing. I see all this shit. And then I'm like, people have the audacity to be like, man, you're changing. No shit. You just act like you've gotten a lot meaner. <laughs> you don't say. Well, you see fuck face in the comments who's delusional as shit. Normal people out here really don't like when strangers try to suck their titties dry. Not everybody lives in fucking lollipop land. And dude, some of the comments involving yeah. this dude are bizarre. Seeing people being like, dude, you guys are fucking like best friends. No, Yo, you know, I was on Twitter and I saw like some, I don't know who, what celebrity it had something to do with. But I saw people like, it was just something so, so simple that like, people expect when somebody's like rich or they're famous to put up with things that they wouldn't put up with in their normal life. Like that's so crazy to me. If HDC, whatever this guy name is, did what he did, what he did to church to you, 
you would feel the same exact way. But because he's up church, you're, you expect him to not react the same way you would react. Like, I don't get people with that. Like, they expect, like, if, uh, if a rapper gets slapped across the face and then he knocks the dude out that slaps him, you'll have certain people actually saying, like, he was wrong for hitting him back. But if you were in the grocery store and the dude behind you in checkout slapped you in the back of the head, you would probably turn around and do the same reaction. But because that's a celebrity, because he's famous, because he's rich, he's not supposed to react the same way. Like, people are insane with that. Fuck we what in the fuck do you think a best friend is? You think everybody you stand beside for two seconds is going to be your best friend? You're going to get robbed a lot. <laughs> Man, yes. this one comment he had in there on his page made me go roll a fucking blunt. This one motherfucker said, man, I was really hoping to see that collab between you two would have been super dope. <laughs> Are your fucking ears broke? When the fuck makes you think I want to do a collab with something that sounds like this? What the hell is wrong with you? Hiding in place is cruel. Broken banks, jacked rates, keep them kids in school. Ask the bartender for a smile and a line. Never thought a beer without a mask could be a crime. God damn. Fear from the nation. Total... He said, ask the bartender for a beer in a line. Never knew a beer without a mask is a crime. Escalation, yeah, I'm still smiling with the lip of Copenhagen. COVID don't spread down south in the country. Roping on my horse, black hat, looking punchy. Yeah. I'm going to be the first to say, bro, all his subscribers that love this dude, man, y'all got to tell him work on that flow, get some better production. That sounded nasty. Like, I don't know what. Yeah, I'm totally going to stop everything I'm fucking doing for this guy. Yeah, so when you ask me, am I changing? The answer is yes. If you're going to sit here and tell me I'm unfollowing you because you don't, let's go, Brandon, then I want you to fucking leave. You're going to make me dumber staying here. What do you expect me to fucking say? When I wake up in the morning and I got some fucking fake cowboy in the woods by the interstate being like, I need to know some answers about some other guy. Answer these questions even though you're not the guy. It appears Mercy said fuck the police. <laughs> Did you know about this? I don't fucking care, dude. I care about the motherfuckers in my house, the motherfuckers in my community, and the people I meet in real life. Yes. I like living in real life. It's pretty fucking nice. If you want to stay on the internet and let's go branding everyone to fucking death and make statements with your... Bro, I'm telling you, man. Some people are, like, wrapped in this, like, virtual world. Like, they, the internet is, like, a virtual universe for them. And they don't realize, like, how much, like, um, better it is just to detach yourself from it for a couple of days, a couple of hours. Like, just do it. Like, some people get so wrapped and they feel like... What goes on in the internet is real life. Like, I was just watching a podcast with Adam22, and he was saying he was going through, like, this whole thing with the internet canceling him, and he was sitting home for, like, five days straight depressed um, because he thought, like, the world hated him because everybody was tweeting bad things about him, and his mentions were flooded with bad, you know, comments about, it, about him and stuff. But then he turned off his phone and hopped in his car and went to a store, and a bunch of kids ran up to him and was asking for, you know, pictures and gifts, showing him so much love. And that's what brought him out of his funk. Like, hold on, bro. The, the, the internet doesn't depict real life. Like, in real life, it's love out here. So, like, just it's, don't get yourself. It's, the internet is a beautiful thing if you use it in the right way. But just don't get yourself too wrapped up into it because you'll become detached from reality, you know? Capital letters on your signs while you argue because someone has capital letters on their signs. And go for it, dude. We're not the same person, which is why I don't hang out with you. I don't fucking like people like you. So please, if you're one of these people, there's the fucking door. I live out here with real people, yeah. not in fucking La La Land. Good God. Good. Listen to that. Let's double tap and bring that back. Hear that one more time. I don't fucking like people like you. So please, if you're one of these people, there's the fucking door. I live out here with real people, not in fucking La La Land. Good God. You know, you should probably change your fucking name since you can't drive a six-speed. How the fuck are you gonna call yourself Heavy Duty when you can't even fucking drive a six-speed? <laughs> well, there you go. Oh, by the way, to everybody who was following me that was like, Man, Church, can't believe this. Totally unfollowing now. 
Yo ass ain't staying neither. Get the fuck out of here. See ya. I hate cancel culture. No, you don't, you fucking diva. Did I forget anything? Oh, yeah. I seen the video from 2014 where you're like, Look, everyone, I'm choosing any fucking N-word. Well, here's you an updated video, you clickbaiting bitch-ass nigga. <laughs> now go learn how to drive a stick shift. Heavy dirty. Oh, yo, bro. Nah. <laughs> Even when he's serious, he's still funny. You know what I mean? Or he's angry, he still makes some type of humor out of it. Um, it's just, the whole situation, man, is just, it's just weird. Like, it just comes down to people, it's weird people um, in the world. No matter how many subscribers they have, no matter how popular they are, if they're weird, they're weird. Money, fame, success doesn't take the weirdness out of a weirdo. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments. Um, shout out to Upchurch. Shout out to the Creek Squad. Creek Squad? Yeah, man. Shout out to the gang. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Stay sucker free. I love you. Catch you in the next video. Peace. When you rolling with your team, pray your dog strong. When you slip, nigga, tell me who you fall on, huh?